Welcome back. It's Jerry with Sky Management here again. We've got an issue with our trailer, and if you got trailers in the truck, you definitely are going to want to see this. you got a truck trailer pin. You pull that out, and oh my goodness, you're missing your pins. Well, that's because they're broken off in your truck. Well, how do you fix it? Well, we're here to show you how to do it, so stick with us, and we'll show you the easy way. First thing you're going to want to do is get a pair of needle nose pliers. They can be bent like this or they can be straight needle nose pliers. And going to get in here and grab these little tabs on the end of these and pull them out and give them one quick tug and they should pop right out of there. That will remove the old one out of there. So you're going to do that with all three of these and then we'll be ready to install the new plug. Now that we've got those tabs out, it's time to replace our four pin. Now if you got your old four pin, you can hang on to it, check out and look at the color of the wires and you're going to take your replacement four pin. I got this one from O'Reilly's. And the first thing that we're going to notice as we take that out of the box, and they're going to be different depending on which, which brand that you buy, is that these colors don't line up. And that can be a problem. You get confused and start connecting to the wrong one. So what you're going to do is just connect these one at a time from the new one to the old one and just do it one at a time. That way you know that the correct line is going to the correct place. So using your wire strippers or wire cutters, locate the black tab and go ahead and cut that wire first and then we're going to go ahead and strip that wire and give yourself enough room that you can then place it inside this connector. Then you're going to do the same thing on the new one. You're going to locate that black tab. See it's a different colored wire. The other one's orange, this one's white, but that's okay. It goes to the same outlet. We're going to strip that one as well. Now that you've got them both stripped and ready to go, you're going to need to have a package of these, what they're called, butt connectors. It's a funny name, but they work really well as far as sliding the wires directly into each end and allowing you to crimp that down without leaving a lot of things dangling. Now, yeah, you can use wire nuts, sure, and you can use electrical tape if you really want to trust that, but this is a good way to to secure both of these and just connect the two lines together uh, in an easy way and make it clean and professional whenever we're all done. So get those slid in there and using your same wire strippers just go ahead and crimp both ends and crimp in the middle and just crimp it all around on there and it smashes that metal inside of that butt connector down over those lines basically making a continuous connection from one line to the other. Kind of give it a little bit of a tug just to make sure that it doesn't just pop out of there. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and just continue to do these one at a time across the way. Now, in our particular case, the rest of these three wires uh, on the old one and the three wires on the new one happen to be exactly the same color. I've double checked. So being as that they're exactly the same, we're going to cut them all and go ahead and do the rest of those. Now that we've got all four of those nice and crimped together, it's really pretty the whole thing up and we've got our new end on there. A good idea is to take some electrical tape and just starting about an inch or so behind where we made our connection and wrapping it around over the top of the connection and just keep overlapping it over itself about half each time and just wrap it beyond by about an inch on the other side. And that will give us a little more of a waterproof connection uh, and it also will tie it all together and make sure that those things kind of stay stabilized and don't pull out as easy. So that just kind of cleans everything up. You're gonna insert your plug in the correct way into the back and then it's time to give it a good test. It's a great idea to go ahead and test both your brakes and your left turn signal and your right turn signal and just make sure that everything you've got is operating as it should. In our particular case, by pushing on the brakes and turn signals, it appears that everything's working as it should. Thanks for spending your time with us here. I hope this found this helpful. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. I wanted to mention to you, I bought this at O'Reilly's it was about $5 for this four pin uh, flat connector. And this was about $3 for these butt connectors, the right size. There's a whole bunch of them in there, so you've got them for other wiring projects too. You can use wire nuts, but they can get caught on things. This is just a more straight shot. and allows you to go ahead and wrap it up and keep it all nice and clean like that. So while you're out there on the road, make sure that it works, test it, and stay in compliance. Thanks again for watching.